Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Welcome to the first video in my series about Bufaco's Hex Mix System, a trio of modules that work together, providing a complete performance mixing solution for Eurorack. You get six channels of ECAs, a mixer with volume, mute, pan and a three-band EQ per channel, as well as a master EQ and volume. And the Hex Spander adds three effects sends and returns, balanced outputs per channel and for the stereo mix, as well as a separate headphone mix and output. Today we're looking at the Hex Mix VCA, which is just six high quality VCAs in a single 14 HP panel, with an audio input and output, a CV input, and manual response and gain controls for each channel. It can be normal to the Hex Mix via ribbon cable on the back, but it can also work as a standalone module if you just need a lot of VCAs in a small footprint. In the box, you get absolutely everything you need to build it. Pots, knobs, jacks, the PCBs, a nice black panel, screws and spacers, power cable, and all of the resistors, capacitors, transistors and diodes. Everything neatly organized in baggies, labeled according to the build guide, so you can easily follow the included instructions. The main PCB comes with the SMD components already soldered. You also get a cool Bifaco sticker. The instructions are super clear, do follow them carefully. Let's build it. We'll start with the main board. As there are no standing resistors, you can go ahead and place them all on the board along with the diodes and then solder them all at once from above, only having to flip the board one time to clip the leads. The resistors are numbered sequentially according to their placement, which makes them very easy to locate. Then come the capacitors. Next, place and solder the transistors, minding their orientation, followed by the male pin headers and the trimmers. Lastly, solder on the power connector. Same procedure goes for the control board. Start with the resistors, then the caps, followed by the IC sockets, the mini slide switch and the female pin headers. Next, attach the expansion connector and the spacers. Remember to place the jacks and pods but not solder them until you have aligned them to the holes on the panel. Once everything lines up, solder the panel components, cut off the excess legs of the mini jacks, place the ICs in their sockets, carefully checking their orientation, attach the main board to the control board, lining up their headers, and tightening the screws in the spacers. Put knobs on the pods, check the power rails for shorts with your meter. Connect the power cable and plug it in. Calibration is simple. Check the manual, it's a single trim pot adjustment for each VCA. All right, here we go. This is the demo patch for the Hex Mix VCA. And here it is right here. And I'm sure you've probably heard somebody say you can never have too many VCAs. And the reason people say that is not because you need a whole bunch of voltage controlled attenuators for voices, which you probably do anyway, but the reason you'd want a lot of VCAs is because one of the funnest things to do with modular is to modulate your modulations. That is, to actually send the modulation source into a VCA and modulate the amplitude of that modulation source as it goes into its destination. So that's that can be a lot of fun. So I made a patch that does that. I'm actually using three VCAs, which are three and four and six for audio, for voices. So there's only three voices in this patch happening right now. The other three VCAs are modulating modulation sources. So let me explain. We have one voice made up of an oscillator going through a filter, going through one VCA. And then another voice is another oscillator going through a wave folder, the over folder, going into a, another filter, and then back to another VCA right here. And then we have another voice, which is a drone voice, which is the braids and vowel mode going into this VCA right here. And these are normalized to three channels of the hex mix, which are channels three, four, and six right here. They're turned on. And they're the voices, they're the actual sound sources that I'm using. Now, I have 
these cool new Sonic Potions envelopes. They're just decay envelopes that I'm going to be reviewing very soon. And I'm using these for the first two voices. So the first two are modulating the amplitude of VCAs 3 and 4 for my two normal subtractive type voices, right? The other two, one is modulating the filter for voice number one, and the other one, the bottom one, is modulating the folding for voice number two. Now, here's where things start getting interesting. The drone is the vowel mode in braids, and I'm sending a fast LFO to the timbre input, but it's going through a VCA, VCA5, right here. And I have a slow LFO. Both LFOs are coming from my fixed sign bank. The slow LFO is modulating the VCA that lets pass, that's controlling the amplitude of the fast LFO as it goes into the timbre input of the braids module. So you're going to hear this fast modulation fade in and out, phase in and out as the slower LFO opens and closes this VCA. So that makes for a really cool kind of drone. It's the low drone that's setting the key for everything else that's happening. Now, here's the other cool thing is I have two sequencers, the Lizard 2 and the 8S sequencer, both synchronized to the same clock. And I actually have two clocks going, two possible clocks on my AB switch here. One, the pink cable is the swamp module clock. And the other one, the white one, is one of the LFOs in the multi-LFO up there. And right now it's in the middle position, which is off, which is why you don't hear anything. So when I say, once I switch this to one of the clocks, it'll start triggering my four envelope generators, and it'll set the sequencers in motion. And now both sequencers are going into VCAs, one and two. And from there, they're going into two channels of the ornament in crime in quad quantizer mode, which I think is called quarter main, right? And those are going into the voltage proactive inputs of my two oscillators. And I'm using a minor pentatonic scale, which I think is a nice sounding scale, so things sound nice and consonant all the time. And these two VCAs right here, which are attenuating the output of my sequencers, they're being controlled by the rampage. Both sides of the rampage are generating these slow ramps that go up and down. So when the rampage is down on a low voltage, you will get very little of the sequencer voltages going through. So you get very small note variations in the ornament in crime. So you hear melodies that are notes are very close together, very linear. As the ramps go up and the VCAs open up more, you get wider note variation. You get closer and closer to the actual sequence that's programmed on my on my two sequencers over there. And that's those are really slow, so this is very gradual as you hear it. Much more interesting than just the eight notes repeating over and over again forever. You get this interesting kind of linear organic variation and it's always going to sound in tune and musical because it's going through the quantizer. So I think that's it. I think I've explained the patch. I hope it's understandable. Let's play it.
Well, that's it. Hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe and watch my other videos and help us out on Patreon. See you later. Stay noisy. Bye.